Hi guys, welcome back to the Speed Shop. So in today's video I'm going to be working on fixing this rear fixing bracket for the rear subframe. So this is the bracket that welds into the side of the floor here where the rear subframe uh, bolts into. So I've had it soaking in some uh, of my acid rust removal stuff and it's come up pretty good. I mean there is a little bit of pitting in this area just here. but I'm not too fussed about that because the rest of it looks really good. So the only problem with this bracket is uh, one of these um, sort of like a insert nut type piece. Um, the thread has got cross threaded in it so I can't put the bolt in. That is really the only problem with this bracket. I don't see why I can't use this one. I've looked on uh, several different websites and I can't actually find this uh, bracket on any of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can order some material through work and just machine uh, some of these uh, insert nut type pieces. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll weld them on from the other side and then grind that side flat. Uh, but what I've got to do first is obviously I've cut into it a bit just here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just give it a little clean up quickly and see if I can weld that up and then grind that flat. So I've just used a small needle file just to create a little bevel in there just so I can get the weld to sink in nicely. Um, because this is slightly thicker than the other material that the panels are made out of. Uh, so what I've done is I've clamped it to this uh, large piece of box section I found just to try and keep this as flat as possible while I'm welding it. So what I'll do now is I'll get the welder set up and I'll see if I can get some weld in there and then grind it flat. So I've welded up those two cuts that were on this side and along this side there was a cut but it didn't cut all the way through so I just uh, filled that in with weld as well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just leave that clamped in there while it cools just to prevent any uh, twisting or warping. Um, but it's got really good penetration on the other side where these cuts were along this bit. Um, so once it's cooled down enough then obviously I can take it out and uh, grind this down. Um, and then obviously the only thing I can't do today is remake these um, insert nut pieces. Obviously I'll do that at work during the week and then I can just uh, weld those in. But what I might do is see if I can uh, make a little um, beveled edge in here. Because if you look at it from on top you can see this section here in the middle. That is where it welds to the... Uh, that back panel. Um, so obviously these are set in a little bit so that there's a nice, uh, so there's no gap between this and the actual panel it welds to. So uh, once I get those insert nuts welded in I can obviously then just grind the tops of them down to make sure it's uh, just below this level just so I know that this piece will clamp up nicely to the back panel piece and then I can weld that in. And then obviously it's got the um, rear floor to seal uh, reinforcement bracket which welds onto the other side of this piece. Uh, so once that's cooled I'll get it ground but we'll just leave that for now.
So I've got my little bracket all welded back together and all blended in now. We've got it all ground back. So it's all nice and welded together. Uh, the penetration was really good and went through all the way. So I just had to do a little bit of grinding on the other side just to take the tops off and blend it in. But I'm really happy with how that's gone. Obviously just here is where it sort of cut into it but didn't cut all the way through. So obviously you can't see that now. So I'm really happy with the way that's come out. Uh, so there's not much more I can do with this panel today because uh, obviously um, I was going to try and make some more of these little um, uh, pieces at work. So I'll do that. Uh, in one of my lunch times during the week, see if there's a piece of metal at work I can use, or if I can uh, buy a piece of metal through work. Um, so what I might do is just give it another coat of the acid stuff, and just uh, spread it with some weldable primer, just to give it a bit of protection for now. Um, obviously I've still got a few holes to drill in, so I can spot weld uh, this face to the side of the floor. Uh, but there is one more little job, that I want to do today so I'm going to see if I can get that done. So the other job I was hoping to get done today is I need to make a little repair patch to go in here to repair this bit of rust here. Uh, so what I was thinking of doing was just coming up either side where those welds are and just creating a little patch just to repair this piece. Uh, so obviously I can use my little Dremel to cut out this piece. Um, but before I cut that out, I'm going to see if I can cut out a little section of metal and sort of give it the same curve using one of the hammers and uh, there's a dolly which is a similar radius to this. So I'll quickly see if I can uh, cut out a piece of metal and hammer it to the same radius and then I can cut this piece out and weld it in. So I've got my little strip cut out and I've just got this uh, dolly very carefully clamped in the vise. So I'm just going to put it on the very edge here, just to put a little bit of a bend in it this way. So then once I get that bent, I can uh, clean it up, put a bit of weldable primer on it just to give it a bit of protection, and then get it welded in. So I've hammered over my little repair piece now. You can see there is a very slight radius in there. But if I hold it up onto here where it actually goes, you can actually see that that's almost exactly the same. So I just need to trim this little panel, little patch down a little bit. And then I just need to cut out this section, uh, put some multiple primer on the inside of this just to give it a bit of protection and then weld it in. I've got my little repair patch cut to the right size to fit in this slot now and I've uh, just given it a quick coat of weldable primer on the inside just to give it some protection. So I'm just going to try and hold it in place with the magnet, put a couple of tacks, one on each corner and then once it's tacked in I can then just fully weld it in all the way around.
So I've got my little patch all welded in now, it went all really good. Uh, happy with the weld, how they went today. Uh, they seem to have all uh, penetrated into the metal quite nicely. So obviously I can just uh, grind the tops of these off and just sort of blend it in a little bit. I just make it look a bit nicer, but I mean once it's painted you won't really see it anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. As long as it's all welded in secure and everything. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for welding today. So I'm going to be leaving this video here for now, so hopefully by next weekend I'll have finished repairing my uh, uh, rear subframe fixing bracket. So obviously I'm going to, during the week I'm going to try and see if I can machine up some little um, threaded bungs to replace the ones that were on there, so I've got nice new threads. Um, and then obviously I just need to weld those to the actual bracket itself, and then I can get the bracket welded in, and then uh, the floor to seal reinforcement bracket will weld to that. And as soon as I get those in, I can uh, weld on the outer sill and uh, keep this project moving along. So thanks for watching this video.